The Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit has taken on youth from several schools in the city to appoint them as junior commissioners or safety ambassadors in other words. This is in light of the escalating violence in schools which jeopardizes the safety of learners and teachers. But many would ask if this is enough to address the issue of school violence. Bye to Dumela and good evening. My name is Tabo Mulukwan and welcome to this edition of SOIT today. We are joined in studio by Constable Dagalo Pemula from the Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit as we look into the crisis of violence in schools. He's my guest tonight. Constable, much appreciated for coming in uh, the show. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, I want us to start, you know, the conversation on this initiative, maybe just to talk about how, you know, it came about and the mm. importance of it. Um, the junior commissioner is a brainchild of the former national commissioner, General Kesha Sitole. So it came about in 2011. Um, the general saw it fit that it's important to involve school children, those who are on the on the ground or on the forefront of this violence and all these um, crimes that are happening in school. So he decided that let us involve the school children as also part of safety ambassadors and also part of harnessing the school safety. Mm. I mean, obviously, you know, when this initiative came about, there were concerns that were raised uh, in, 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 in various schools. But I, I, I'm very much interested in finding out how do you as the police make sure that uh, these young people know the importance of this and then partake in uh, such an initiative? Um, what we do, we try by all means to induct them and also to induct those who they're working with yep. because they're working with the teachers, they're working with different structures like your courses and other structures. So we, the focus is not only on those kids, the focus also is on the structures because you find that there are clashes within the structures that why are you starting a structure within a structure. So we made sure that there is a collaboration between all other structures. You see all the schools have got school safety committees yeah. and you have got L LRC and you've got youth desk. So all those structures, they've got safety officers. Then we then decided that we're going to involve all those structures uh, within the junior commission so that there is a flow of information and also it's sort of a um, multidisciplinary approach. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so it, it, uh, is there some sort of training uh, that uh, uh, is provided uh, maybe a, a week or days of training mm -hmm. for these young people to know also, you know, certain laws, uh, the do's and don'ts, if I may put it that way? If you look at the junior commissioner, it's more based on the police. So it's more of police oriented. Yeah. Uh, if you look at it, hence we speak about the commissioners. Those uh, young kids, we call them commissioners. Yeah. Like your district, if you're on a district level, and the station commissioner, if you're on a station level. So what we do is that we teach them a bit of policing protocols in yeah. terms of your saluting and how police are working, and also in terms of detecting the crimes that are happening in their school, because that is their main issue. You know, that, that is the, their main mandate, rather, that they detect crime happening in their schools, and we sit with them to say, how can we resolve these problems? So we induct them along those lines. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I, mean, I mean, you, you say that uh, the district has adopted these um, you know, young people from different schools around Joburg. Um, how many schools, uh, maybe in terms of the numbers, I know that it's quite yeah, a stretch. Quite a lot of them, I mean, yeah. <laughs> in um, the Jobic district is about more than 900 schools. So we went to each and every school using the station social crime prevention, of course. Yeah. Johannesburg district is consists of 42 police stations. So each and every police station, we said to them, we want top four junior commissioners. So all the social crime prevention coordinators had to go to schools and make sure that they, they hold, um, what do they call, public speaking debates yeah. and uh, uh, competitions to get these learners then um, it means that it's 42 times 4. That is about 100 and something, 160 something um, junior commissions yeah. we have in the Johannesburg district, as I speak now. Mm. Yeah. Just lastly, before I let you go, um, I mean, 
Obviously, uh, this was started a few years ago. Um, has it produced the necessary uh, results mm. uh, from you as the police or has it lived up to the expectations? Um, I can say yes, it did, but also the project, I think the project mutates as it started in 2011 and when you look at it today, it's not the same um, because those junior commissioners, they leave a legacy, those whom we appoint, they leave a, they leave a very good legacy, most of them, um, after this whole project, was this project ran for two years, every two years then we have to in elect the new batch of junior commissioners. Some are getting buzzeries. Uh, some have left a very good legacy whereby you find that they left operations. There are operations now that, as we speak, that the junior commissioner of Gauteng, who was a junior commissioner last year, he left a program that the whole country now is running with, the school safety program that we are running with. So there's quite a lot of um, gains we, 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 we can derive from these programs. So, so you're saying that uh, is it not, it's not only in Gauteng now, it's also in other, provin in other provinces or, or because it's, it was the, I mean it was piloted here obviously. So is it also in different provinces? Yeah sure, the, the, the program even from its inception, it started, the, the, the idea was to start like a countrywide uh, program. Yeah. yeah, then it as it started it went to all the provinces. Of course, Gauteng leads in many initiatives in terms of how we conduct our, our business. But then if you go to Limpopo, if you go to KZN and many other provinces, you'll find the pro, the, this project of junior commissioners. Constable, much appreciated for coming in and thank you so much for making the time. Thank you so much. That was uh, Constable Dakado Pimola from the Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit talking to us about the intervention made by the unit to address the crisis of uh, school violence. Now to, today's discussion becomes very crucial as according to UNESCO, violence in schools is a global phenomenon with South Africa being no exception. Now each year about 246 million children are affected by school violence around the world. Let's take a quick ad break. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching So It Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. Now joining us in studio is Mohaut Dapana, who is the Junior Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit Commissioner and is here to tell us about his experience you know, in the program which aims at involving young people in this fight against crime in schools. He's my guest uh, tonight. Uh, Mohal, much appreciated for coming in. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, look, um, I mean, as a junior commission, obviously, this must be a tough task uh, for you. Maybe let's talk about what inspired you to be part of this initiative. Well, firstly, this whole ordeal started with a debating and public speaking competition. Yeah. Um, there are three phases. Um, the local, which is the local police station. I made it to the second round, which is um, the district part. We went to UJ. I made it as well. And then we, I found myself at Haniju fighting for the official district junior commissioner. And by the grace of God, I made it and I won. And we made it to Witz Watersrand University fighting for the provincial commissioner of which unfortunately I couldn't um, attain the position. But I am here today um, as the district junior commissioner of Johannesburg Metropolitan District. And if I tell you this experience has been amazing, you know, um, I as a youth, you know, uh, providing, um, going to other schools, you know, lecturing them about um, crime you know having like creating this mindset you know because often people don't know um the disadvantages or how crime affects them especially school-based crime so this initiative has been great and i'm very fortunate that i am uh, part of this initiative i mean obviously um the you know an array of challenges that you are facing as a, a district junior uh, commissioner and maybe you continue to face uh, because obviously at your age it comes with a great responsibility yes. um, and your peers might be you know uh, might have some pushback if I may put it that way to okay. what you the initiative that you're trying to bring to them there but I, I want to understand uh, how do you manage 
you know, to deal with that and also to juggle that responsibility with your school responsibilities also? Well, one um, struggle that I have encountered is definitely um, lack of communication with myself and my team, the junior district commissioners, and as, as well as my senior district officers, you know. And procrastination is a very big uh, thing that we have yeah. encountered so far. And, you know, it is um, often stressful juggling schoolwork and my role as a district junior commissioner. But to me, um, in this project, I've learned to multitask, you know, and I will be honest with you, my time management has been, you know, a bit off, yeah. but day by day, I'm trying to improve that, you know, and this initiative, you know, it does take a lot of our time, you know, there are unforeseen circumstances, but who are we to complain? We just have to um, find solutions to overcome those uh, 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 unforeseen circumstances, and we just have to live up to our standards, provide a secure and better um, environment for our learners and a conducive environment for the successful teaching and learning in schools. I mean, how are they receiving it? I mean, your, 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 you know, your fellow learners and obviously the teachers there who are very supportive to this initiative uh, and also has it yielded some positive results in the various schools in the district? Well, honestly, my teachers and my fellow students or friends they have been very, very supportive, you know. They have encouraged they have encouraged me, pardon me, they have motivated me, they've guided me, you know, because in actual fact they are my big supporters yeah. as well as my family, of course, you know. Um, they come to me because I'm a very um, respectful, kind, open. I welcome any suggestions because they know my role as the junior uh, district commissioner. They know that my priority of school uh, safety of learners is my number one responsibility. So they are very supportive. They come to me, they offer suggestions. And my teachers as well are very supportive and I'm very highly appreciative of the support. Um, you know, let's talk about uh the advice that you would give to those that are interested in this. Uh, I mean, there are people that also want to pursue this career after they finish school. And also maybe you in general, uh, on a personal level, do you have any, you know, hopes for further pursuing um, a career in, uh, in, 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 in this field, um, uh, you know, even after you finish school? Well, I haven't really thought about that, but now that you've mentioned it, I would love to be um, a part of this initiative after I'm done with school, you know, because I, for one, come from a school whereby we have experienced um, uh, property-related crimes, a burglary at the school library twice yeah. this past month, you know. So I, for one, as a young leader and as my role as a district junior commissioner, I want to see change. And of course, no doubt, I want to be a part of this initiative, you know. And anyone who wants to be part of this whole project, this project, we um, hold this position for two years, if I'm not mistaken, right? So it starts as a debate and public speaking as I've uh, stated before, yeah. yes, and series of rounds of uh, competition, you become selected, uh, selected as the station, a district and provincial. If you're in the provincial, um, you get the opportunity of meeting um, the National Police Commissioner, um, you get the opportunity of meeting the MEC of um, basic education and so forth. So if you want to be a uh, part of this initiative, no problem. Go to uh, your local police station, ask for the details of the junior uh, district or junior commissioner project. They'll give you all the details, all the outlines of what um, is expected of you to be a candidate of this junior commissioner project. And let us work together and provide a better safe for safety of learners. Well, how much appreciated. We ran out of time, but, uh, you know, congratulations and, uh, okay. you know, all the best for the future. Thank you so much for having me. Much appreciated. That was uh, Mohaut Tapalade, who is the Junior District, uh, you know, Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit Commissioner, talking to us about uh, the role he's playing in addressing the troubling issue of uh, school violence. I mean, there are increasing demands of uh, the uh, 
uh, Department of Basic Education to act to decisively, uh, you know, in uh, tackling the alarming number of school-based crimes and murders and guarantee the security of the learning environment with a focus on staff and student safety. Now, after the ad break, we will speak to the department spokesperson, Steve Abona, to expand more on this discussion. Do stay with us. Welcome back, you're still watching So Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tabo Molokwani. Now we're almost at the end of the show and we are unpacking the issue of school violence to find ways of addressing it. Right now we are joined virtually by the Houting Education spokesperson, Steve Mabona, to talk us about the department's interventions on the matter. As in South Africa, violence in schools violates uh, learner's constitutional right to freedom and security of a person which includes the right to be free from all forms of violence. Steve is joining us via Zoom. Steve, much appreciated for joining us. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon and to all our viewers. Much appreciated. I mean, uh, you know, Steve, what has been uh, the department's response to this worrying surge uh, in crime in our schools. I mean, we've been hearing quite a lot of issues over the past few months. I mean, recently we, we heard uh, there in, uh, you know, one of the schools in, in, in uh, on the other side of Pretoria, learners being found with guns, uh, you know, allegedly so. Uh, but, and also, you know, the stabbing incidents that have been happening across uh, different schools in the province. Obviously, you must be concerned. Indeed, we are concerned and uh, we want to appeal with parents. We need to work together. Uh, this is um, a discipline matter whereby learners are expected to come, you know, disciplined and uh, we cannot tolerate a situation whereby there's uh, infighting of learners stepping each other. To a certain extent, there's one that brought a firearm and shot at the principal which is something that is unacceptable. Uh, so it boils down to discipline. Issue of discipline must be attended to by parents. We have uh, launched Operation Kutamulao, we, where we you know, make sure that we conduct searches, we provide ample security where it's needed, uh, like in the story of Oakdale, where learners um, you know, stepped at each other, we had to bring security there because we were told that there are a lot of things that are happening there. Mm. So as a department, we have done much. Parents must also play their role. Mm. I mean, Steve, uh, you know, let me get your thoughts on this uh, crime prevention initiative by the uh, Johannesburg District Social Crime Prevention Unit. I mean, obviously, you know, this initiative is aimed, uh, you know, uh, at addressing these challenges that are faced by different schools. So, uh, you know, is it a welcome move from you as the department? We welcome everyone who come on board as a stakeholder and make sure that we alleviate pressure from the education system. We make sure that all other departments, they do what is expected out of them. I mean, the issue of crime can't be an issue of the Department of Education. Community safety should be playing a role, social development, health to a certain extent. The social cluster should be playing a significant role in making sure that we don't have any criminal activity that is happening in and around our schools. So if a municipality come on board and say we are intervening, we will always welcome that. Remember, at some point, we uh, expect municipalities to also assist us. When you look at the, you know, what shops are selling, spaza shops, you know, selling food that might harm our children, you know, some end up being sick and in, in hospitals. So if they come close and make sure that there's compliance in those shops, uh, it's something that we welcome as a department. Mm -hmm. Mm. I mean, uh, you know, there's also been concerns uh, previously. I mean, ov obviously now we're talking about progress being made at various schools and stuff. But, um, you know, the school's security system also uh, is not entirely intact. If uh, we, may, you know, or we must be honest about it if in various schools in townships or in, uh, you know, just more rural areas and stuff. 
how do you know the department make sure that actually uh, you know, there are plans in place to make sure that, uh, you know, we don't see such crimes happening. I, I know that you are saying that there's an operation underway there, but how do we intensify efforts to make sure that our schools are safe, uh, you know, in the long run? We, we provide, um, you know, personnel at the school to secure schools. Uh, we provide uh, patrollers. Uh, now, in some areas, we have the wardens that are assisting us, you know, just to patrol, but also we conduct those searches. That's the least that we can do as a department. The discipline will fall, fall squarely on the shoulders of the parents. Parents need to work with us, make sure that our children are disciplined, and uh, we will not be seeing all this... Uh, criminal activities that are perpetuated to a certain extent by learners, uh, you know, crime that is perpetuated by, you know, members of the community, the adults that is of stealing our equipment and breaking in, that as well must be napped. You know, we have a partnership with the police. If that is reported, police are there to assist us. Mm. Just lastly, before I let you go, um, I mean, is there more support the department could render to the crime prevention unit that could see further improvements in this initiative? I mean, you have welcomed uh, the efforts, uh, you know, particularly with this uh, new initiative to help assist schools to deal with violence. Uh, there, uh, is there any maybe support that you will be giving uh, to them as uh, you know you forge this partnership? No, we'll be working with them very closely. We will support them. I mean, it's something that we really want. You know, prevention will take us a long way, unlike us being reactive. So we will be working with them and make sure that we prevent any eventuality that might happen in our space. Mm -hmm. Steve Mabona there, much appreciated for coming in and talking to us. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much. That was uh, Steve Mabona, who is the spokesperson of the Harting Department of Education, talking to us about the troubling surge in violent crimes within schools, which have prompted urgent calls for heightened intervention from the department, as well as the South African Police Services. Well, hi too. That's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email at Soweto Today at SowetoTV.com. Alternatively, you can call or WhatsApp us at 081-531-8857. Bahaitu Nakitabu Mulukwani. From myself and the rest of the team, good night and thank you for watching.